Hello, my beautiful Aries friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. We are about to do a past, present, and future love energy reading for you and your significant other with whom you are having a relationship or an interaction. You can take it as it resonates, but let's look and see what we have. We will clarify everything and come up with some conclusions about what's going on at the end of the reading. All right, so we have this beautiful Three of Cups energy. The Three of Cups energy is very much about being best friends, best buddies, confidants, loving each other, feeling easy breezy, lots of laughter, lots of trust, and lots of sharing with the real spirit of who you are. All right, we also have the Seven of Swords. Woo, sneaking around. <laughs> it looks as though there is something that is either dishonest or secretive about this relationship. It can also mean that somebody is trying to find information or discover information. But we're going to clarify. Okay, the Two of Wands. It is time to make a choice. Spirit is calling on you in the recent past to make a choice about this relationship. Let's see what the current energy is between you and your person. Temperance, trying to work out details. Good. Okay. And let's see what else we have for the energy currently. Strength. Ooh, look at that. Leo energy. So we have Leo, uh, Sagittarius. We also have the Three of Cups. So we have Cancerian, Aquarius, and uh, Aries energy. So Aries. Oh, Ten of Swords. What is happening, Aries? You're really giving up on something. It looks like the two of you together, there's a Ten of Swords energy. There's sort of a, a very strong feeling of defeat. All right, currently. So let's see what the future has in store here before we clarify these cards. Let's see what let's see ah i like it this is virgo energy virgo energy is very important energy for you because it really is all about moving forward in a very steady pace doing all the right things day to day really doing the work that's necessary and that is your future energy so moving slowly walking the horse <laughs> but the king the knight of pentacles does turn into the king of pentacles and he is the only knight that does that look at this fire in your belly both of you have a lot of fire for this relationship very defend very much willing to defend the relationship i will give you the table shot momentarily before we clarify but let's see what we have here for you. Let's see. Okay. We have the Eight of Pentacles. It's really learning how to make this relationship work. It's really oiling the engine of this relationship. It's a beautiful energy. When we look at this earth sign energy, we are looking very much at Virgo energy. It's all about doing what needs to be done, doing the work really doing the work and having fire in your belly with the courage and the decision to stand strong. So let's take a look at the table shot. I want to get this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's look at the clarifiers for this reading. Aries, let's see. Why is the Three of Cups here in the recent past for our Aries friends? Let's see what the clarifier is for that. All right, we have the Wheel of Fortune reversed. So it feels as though the timing wasn't right in the past. It feels as though the two of you were very close at one time. Ooh, but look at this. The Nine of Cups, you've discovered something in the recent past about your relationship. Nice energy, Aries. What this tells me is that whatever you were worried about somebody from the past you felt that your partner and both of you felt this way this is mutual energy both of you have had a lover in the past for whom you're both aware about um and it really shows that what you've learned by surveilling each other or listening carefully or you know pretending not to pay any attention to things that you're definitely paying attention to what it says is that both of you are very much in the relationship with one another and you are not connected to the parties in the past that both of you felt threatened by okay 
Look at this beautiful, a decision is being made. It's, it's a heartfelt spiritual decision. This is not about carelessness. This is not about, oh, yippee, throw caution to the winds. No, this is a careful decision that has been made in the recent past that you are one another's star. You are one another's happiness. This is hopes and dreams for love coming true. Very important energy very important it really speaks to the fact that whatever was worrying you both about this relationship has been laid to rest officially so that you're now ready to make a very beautiful decision moving forward for your collective happiness the two of you all right why is a temperance card here temperance is sagittarius it's all about getting along you know it's really about making things work so it looks as though both of you are not equally invested at this time or you're not sure what that looks like yet. Let's see why the strength card is here. Let me, let's get another clarifier for this. Okay. So for some of you, I definitely feel as though you're not fully invested yet in the relationship currently. Um, it looks like there's a road to travel with each other. It does appear that you've, been, you've known each other for a long time. Six of Cups energy says that you feel very tender, very nostalgic. Certainly at least one of you wants to grow old with the other. Um, let's see, why is the Seven of Pentacles reversed here, Spirit? Aha. Uh -huh. One of you wants to have more adventure before you're really willing to make the commitment and to, to make the investment. One of you, Aries, I think it's you because this is a three of wands. You want more excitement. You want this person to make more of an effort. You want them to give you tiki torches, starry nights, surfboards, and a beautiful night on the ocean. We will speak metaphorically about what that means. You want them to be open emotionally. You want them to be available to you physically. You want more passion. You want more. You're not willing to invest unless they prove themselves worthy of your investment. As far as your person towards you, they're they're in. They're in. So let's look and see what the strength card says for you. Energies can be vice versa, but for the most part, that is how I'm reading it. So let's see why the strength card is here for our beautiful Aries friends. Why is the strength card here in your mutual energy right now? The Three of Pentacles. Okay, so now we have a relationship that is very, very strong between you and your person. You're both very loyal to each other. You don't see each other. I mean, you don't see other people. You're very much um, in the energy of just the two of you dancing through life together. The Three of Coins, though, reversed means that your ability to collaborate like a well-oiled machine is compromised. What we're seeing here also is a mom and a dad and a child. So I'm not seeing a third party situation, but I would say that if you are older and have adult children, there's at least one child that seems to be a little bit thorny in the relationship. Um, but what we see also is it's very, uh, as strong as your love is for each other, there seems to be a practical level at which you do not operate efficiently. So that could mean that you don't distribute work evenly, that one person carries more of the burden, that it's not a really great collaboration. And Aries, I feel that you think this is your person. I feel as though you're not investing until they invest more. They have all these sentimental feelings about you, but they're not, they, they give more lip service to the relationship in terms of they're not going anywhere. You'd have to beat them off with a stick. I don't mean, oh, okay, I shouldn't say that. You would have to, you would really have to work to sort of lo make them lose interest in you. Okay, so that was a bad choice of words. But anyway, so what we have here, though, is that right now, Aries, we get that you are feeling as though you're not going to defend yourself. You're not going to ask for more. You would absolutely walk away. Again, we have Sagittarius energy. So if this person is, you're not willing to put up with things. I don't see you in a defensive mode. You're just all about performance. If your person does not come forward and give you more, you're not sure that you can keep your heart engaged long term. You do love them. You want it to work. But see, you want them to have more passion, more fire in their belly, and you think that they're very controlling. 
Let's clarify which person is it that this is. I really feel this is you, Aries, who feels this way. Is this Aries who feels this way, Spirit? Whoops, I just have a card, had a card go. Yep, there you go. That's a yes answer. And I'm also getting the Four of Cups. Yep, yes. Oh, absolutely. Aries, look at it. Judgment card is your card. It is Scorpio energy. And you and Scorpio both relate to the planet Mars. It's taking action. It's making a decision. But it does show you would release this person. You're really feeling bored and discontent with the effort that they're making. You're not totally happy about this. You're not willing to jump in and just settle you know it's like they're here they're they're in it to win it but they're not but they're not doing the work is what it looks like so what i'm seeing is you have put them on the back burner you're doing your own thing you're very much involved in your projects the things that excite you and if they come along fine and if they don't you'll walk away with time all right, so now as we see walking away, we see this beautiful Knight of Pentacles energy. Clarified, oh yay, somebody decides to pick up the pace. So I definitely see that as your person. Uh-huh, now we have, you know what, Aries, your person really is someone who is not, who doesn't have a really strong base in how to do relationship well. I feel as though they're, you feel like they're a little backwards, almost a little like inexperienced. Not that they, not that they haven't had relationships, but you don't really think that they've done a great job in relationships. I'm seeing that both of you would like for this to culminate in marriage. I'm getting that it is possible for you. We have the four of wands. Both of you are very guarded in how you look at this. We get that your person watches you. They kind of show off on social media. Uh, they try to get your attention, and you're, you're not giving them any attention. Aries, look at that. You are not giving them attention. You're just doing your own thing, working on your projects. Here we go, two of wands. Look at this, looking into the future. And look at temperance. You're not going to bend over backwards, Aries. You are not going to bend over backwards to meet anybody uh, who's not, who has not gone the distance. This is Pisces energy. The moon is means reversed, means that everything's pretty much in the open. I don't think there's any secrets. If both of you were asked about this, both of you are in this position of being very, um, you're holding back. Both of you are holding back. The two of coins, it also looks Aries as though, you know, if your person doesn't come through for you, you will consider other options and you would pack up and leave. So let's look and see what the energy is here for you in terms of the spirit oracle. Let's see what we have. What is the advice? Okay going to go to this view. All right. So let's see what this advice is. This is a very specific reading. It won't be for everyone, but I feel as though emotionally one person wants the other one almost like in a childlike way. Almost like I'm not doing the work, but you know, I want you forever. The world. Yeah. Two and nine is 11. Look at that. The world card means that if this person doesn't actually make their words match their actions, that the advice of spirit is to close out the cycle. Um, you are really working on yourself right now too, Aries. Let's see. Ooh, you're hostile. You get angry. This is a Mars energy. You know, you really are not happy. You love this person, but you're not happy that they seem to be someone who just does things that really annoy the heck out of you. Okay, third chakra, Archangel Camuel. Okay, so there you go. You do have an Archangel working on your behalf in this relationship. Let's look and see what the energy is for the shaman's oracle all right so let's see excuse me seven energies oracle let's see what is spirit trying to tell you here 
great and full. Oh, you've really created this. You've created that for yourself. You're in this beautiful energy, Aries, of you really, really having created something wonderful for you. You're working on you. If your person can keep up, great. You'll be happy. And if your person can't keep up with you, I just see you walking away awakening the genius within you look at that energy i want to show you how important this is this is the eight of coins energy this you are awakening the genius within you it's powerful energy aries you're in a very you have a beautiful eclipse the eclipse in the full lunar eclipse in sagittarius is going to give you a lot of freedom to do what you want in the near future it looks as though one prediction i would make is that your person is going to try to support you in your dreams in some tangible way that may be very fruitful for you that may be that may really win you over let's see what else we have a deep breath take a deep breath you know make sure that you get what you want oh this is kind of weird it's getting dark all right so i'm seeing this as a really beautiful reading Aries, I really feel so strongly that you're exactly on the right path. You're exactly where you need to be. Your feelings about this relationship are logical. You have given this person a lot of time. You know, Aries, you're the sharp end of the spear. You really go after what you want. And this person has just, you feel as though they've taken you for granted. You feel as though they love you, but you also feel as though they're immature in their capacity to know what to do and it really should not be too difficult right they just don't have that special something in terms of equal give and take and you know it's it's not like this person anticipates G that what they don't do is is see the snow falling on your car knowing you have to get ready for work they're not necessarily like going out starting the car cleaning off your car for you it's almost like they stay in and they don't worry about you because you're so efficient you're so good at what you do so i would just simply say that these are very very solvable problems but you are going to wait to see that your person can show that that's what i get so aries Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. Bye-bye.